Age of Empires Definitive Edition is a historical real-time strategy game that covers the civilizations of the BC era from the ancient Egyptians all the way up to the Romans. The game came out last year and it's based upon the 1997 Age of Empires game, which I am familiar with. I played a little bit, but like most, within a year or so, I moved on to StarCraft, and then after that, Age of Empires 2, Age of Kings, that had a lot of uh, graphical improvements, gameplay, and a much better multiplayer. But the original is back, and it looks a lot better than the original, and runs better as well, gameplay-wise and through the campaign. It's available through Game Pass on PC, but not Xbox One. The story consists of the different campaigns of the different civilizations. The tutorial covers the ascent of Egypt, kind of goes in uh, order from oldest to newest, and then on the bottom there you see the first Punic War of the Romans. This is like around 200, 200s BC. But how it works is each campaign, there's a picture of the civilization. The narrator explains the first mission that you're going into, and there's just a map kind of telling you uh, what area that they covered for whatever historical event and then you can change the difficulty on the bottom there uh, from easy all the way to hardest this is the same type of thing that you have with uh, multiplayer that affects all the AI that you're fighting with in each mission but it's pretty pretty dry like the quality is fine but it's not like the Age of Empires 2 where it's a different guy for each civilization the campaigns serve mainly as introduction to the various civilizations. Even though you're not playing every one through each campaign, you're at least fighting against them, and you get a sense of what they're good at and what they're bad at. There's no unique units, though. It's just different attributes amongst different civilizations. Overall, though, all the campaigns are bare bones. You're just treated to more commentary at the end, like narration, same guy, and then just a still picture. It's a far cry from even like Age of Empires 2 that had uh, the different images and then the acting also within each mission. There's, uh, there isn't really any of that. So it's mainly for the appreciation of history. Gameplay wise, Age of Empires is known for having various different units, uh, attack, defense, siege, and then the buildings for defense as well. Most people are, like me, are familiar with the second game, so, but there are subtle differences. First, like with the buildings, for example, like the market, you can't trade resources, and like the storage pit in place of like the lumber camp, you can upgrade your units. Biggest differences though are that the game is much more offensive by what it doesn't have. Uh, things like garrison into towers, gates for walls, and then castles defensively in combination with uh, you know, no garrisons for any of these means that you are much more vulnerable and it favors the attacker much more where you don't rely on the siege equipment to take out a base. So this is the biggest surprise if you're coming from uh, like some other games, even like with Garrisons, it doesn't have like those basic functions. But graphically, these are the originals. It's a far cry from the original game. Not only in it looks better, but you can kind of tell what's going on and how well it runs. And then they've added things like raising the population cap, more civilizations, larger maps, all of these things. But it's fun to go back and kind of to remember the original and, and why I personally didn't play for that long. Whether you choose to play single player against AI or online, there's a lot more options now. The population is capped up to 250. You have different maps. You can see a tech tree crossing the uh, 12 civilizations. And online runs very well. There weren't too many games when I tried to play, but in terms of how well it, it run and how long it takes to get on a game PC, I have had no issues. Offline, of course, too, even playing just against AI, there's been no issues. So if you are a big fan of it, it is better in every way. With the quality of life, like with the granary, you can have farms redone so you don't have to manually do it each time. And then the population cap's bumped up and there's more options just with multiplayer. Otherwise, though, if you're looking back at this in retrospect, playing it for the first time, or you played a little bit before, wasn't a huge fan like me, it comes off as more of an attacking offensive type of game because you just have limited options in terms of defense with garrison towers, with walls, just the pacing of the game overall. And it's more simplistic with the type of units with the tech tree. So just be mindful of that. But even apart from that, it still is the original game. It has all its complexities of like rock, paper, scissors, and with the range of the units that it is known for from before. The difference uh, today is that the sequel 
really limits it gameplay wise by being appealing so the game ends up being limited more to its historical era and the interest being there rather than the gameplay mechanics if you're a diehard fan of the original you're already playing this or this would be an easy recommendation it's better in every way for everybody else including me that barely played it or if you haven't played it at all at best this is a rent and it's limited more to the historical aspect checking out the campaign if you enjoy it that way to check out the civilizations kind of learn as it is in ancient times it's not presented near as well as the second one otherwise the sequel is better in every way even having not played the definitive edition yet uh, the tech tree diversity of units civilizations maps and just what they offer in that one it's better it's not like with age of empires 3 that they remove the economical aspect with the villagers that's why people like the second one so i would play that one if you're just playing one of these games if you like this video, give a like. Subscribe if you really liked it. Check out the link below if you want to play this on Game Pass through PC and not Xbox One only. I'll be checking out the second one, Age of Empires 2, Defend Edition, really soon. And I will see you next time.